With the market crash, Roth IRA conversions make awesome sense right now, but don't just take my word for it. I'm gonna share my computer screen with you right now to show you the numbers. I guarantee it, you've never seen anything like this. Let me show you what it's all about. Check it out. If you Google if IRA conversions to Roths make sense, you're gonna get a bunch of stuff that's probably just gonna end up confusing you. I'm gonna show you the exact numbers of how this works right now. Okay, so here's the Excel spreadsheet that I use for all my calculations, or most of them anyways, for my clients. So let's put in uh, the balance right now. Maybe um, right now your IRA is worth 200000 Maybe say it was worth 300000 now it's worth 200000 Let's just do a basic 5% return. Um, and let's do, yeah, 20 years. So if you converted uh, your traditional IRA to a Roth, and that, you know now it's 200000 let's say you pay, if you're, that puts you in the 24% tax bracket, you're going to pay about... $50,000, um, well, $48,000 in taxes, right? Now, for that, though, your $200,000 grows to $530,000 of tax-free money. And remember, the government can never tell you to take any money out of this account. It's a Roth IRA, so there are no required minimum distributions for a Roth IRA. So let's see, though, if we keep it as a traditional IRA. So let's Start up here, let's take out our R&D of about $9,000. Um, let's also assume um, that maybe now it's just the 22% tax bracket. Most people are in the 22% tax bracket. So if we don't convert it and we continue it with the traditional IRA and RMD start at 9,000 a year, you can see over in this column right here, we're taking out the 9,000 and we have to pay taxes on that, right? At the 22% tax bracket. So if you come down here, we're gonna be end up paying about $40,000 in taxes over this 20 year period. But here's an important point is you're not done, are you? You still have taxes on this uh, amount over here, the 233, I'm sorry, the $164,000. You still have to pay taxes on all that money, right? Or your kids will. Uh, when they inherit it because they can never convert it to a Roth. So they'll have to pay taxes on that amount as well. So what we're talking about here is paying taxes on the apple seed and not the apple tree, right? Does that make sense? So if we figure in about $40,000 of taxes here and maybe another forty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 on taxes here, we're now up to $90,000, uh, $90, maybe even more of taxes because What's not guaranteed here? This tax rate of 22%, right? We don't know what tax rates could be throughout these entire years. You're kind of, uh, when you're taking required minimum distributions, you're tied to the IRS, right? For the rest of your life. So if they raise taxes, that will change this whole ballgame for the worst. Um, also, you're pulling money out of here every year, right? What if the market's crashing during any of these years and you're pulling money out? that could decimate your portfolio as well. So it takes out a lot of variables if you just convert the money now, and what better time to do it than right now when the account value is less.